motivating proofs. So feedback should not only be for the students, the instructor needs feedback about their course as well. Uh, if this is negative or constructive feedback, uh, it can be used to create a new version of the course that's even better. And if this is positive feedback, then it can be used as a testimonial to talk about how this course has transformed people's lives. Now, as I know, like as instructors, we're often self-conscious about the feedback that's provided. Uh, but in the spirit of lifelong learning, the online world is very different from the traditional face-to-face -face learning environment. So we have to learn as much about search engine optimization for our online courses uh, as we do learning the actual materials that we're teaching. There are two different aspects. Like, yes, you are you have the student as your customer, but you have another customer, which is the algorithms, the AI. And you need to learn that portion as well. Like, how do I make it so that it's easier for people to search and find my course is just as important as do I know the stuff in my course as well. Um, you know, feedback from our own customers is, is gold. Um, this could be strong motivation for putting your course onto something like Coursera, just because you can collect so much customer feedback. Uh, if you have an independent online course, such as like I do for AI parenting, it may be beneficial to offer those who give you a video testimonial um, something beneficial. Like, of, like, so if somebody writes a video testimonial of how this course has been helpful to them, you give them a reward such as a, uh, you can offer them like swag from your store or maybe a discount on the next course that they take with you. Um, that can be a good way of building a relationship with the student. Remember, it's, it's not what you learn uh, but it's who you learn from that is important. You're building an educational brand, and what you want is repeat customers. So anything that you can learn from, like anything that can help the learning experience, is going to be beneficial not just for that student, but for every student that you, you teach in the future. And this is, a, this is the, that constant improvement that is going to make a huge, huge difference for you. In the end, learners do not remember what you taught them, but they remember how you made them feel. And so what are you doing to make sure that the experience that they have when they finish the course is a positive one? If we aren't getting positive reviews for our online course, well, what do we need to do to improve it? Now, An instructor can never know what's going to benefit their students the most without this constant iteration. Like a good place to start is to look at the feedback of other courses. What are the things that uh, others wanted to know, but they couldn't find out in that course? That is a great starting point. Start by offering those missing items. And what did the course cover that others already knew? So maybe those are the things that need to be removed from your course. And by doing this constant optimization, you're adding more value to every student that takes your course. You're removing the things that they already know, and you're adding in new things that they wish they knew, but you didn't have time to cover. I hope that is uh, making sense because this is really key. Like a lot of courses these days, I find they don't know what you know. They can't know what you know. So how can you make sure that this is adding value? This is unique, that this is something that's worthwhile. Well, make sure that you look at other reviews. Like you don't have to do a lot of creative thinking here. You just need to, it's a mechanical task. Just go in and look at reviews of others' courses. You'll be able to find out pretty quick. Uh, and this is, uh, this goes for everything. Um, it goes for other social media. Like, what should I do? It, look at best practice. Honestly, the best practice is out there. There are courses that have thousands of reviews. There, there's reasons why people love these courses, but there are also things that are missing from those courses. And that is your opportunity to cover those, those gaps. Um, people, maybe they already know about how to do video and social media. Uh, I don't need, to, they don't need to have a course on that, but video funnels, do they know how to do that? Like it was kind of the, the searching of it. It's something that I did in practice that helped me know, oh, there's a demand for this, like speaking to my own customers, speaking to people and going, well, what's going to be most helpful for you? That is very, very powerful.
And so I want to make sure that um, that one's sinking in. So this is about motivating, right? So we're really talking about motivating proofs. And once you have um, it's like social proofs, and I'll even like, I want to show you this because like, it's important for you to it's important for you to to see this in practice, and you can even see how uh, Coursera does it. And I think that this is this is important because for any course, hmm, no, it's not the course. Let me see. Oh, I can search video marketing here. So I was I was looking today at video marketing courses on Coursera, and there are other courses. This is not the only one, um, but th let me let me give you a practical example. Okay, so in this course, I'm just going to zoom in here. So this is a Coursera course on video marketing. So you search video marketing, this one comes up to the top, okay? So 62,000 students, it has a 4.7 rating. That's not bad, right? So I'd start here, and I go, okay, well, I see that there's this course on, um, this is the person who is enrolled, and you can see like it charges for free. There's social proof right in the top, very, very powerful. Um, and then it goes, here's, here's the course, and then if you go through the course, it tells you like it just it mainly is trying to deal with the pain. So how familiar are you with marketing communication campaign? Learn more about this key pillar in the marketing mix. So I felt like you know it, it could be done better in terms of the enrollment here. Uh, and you scroll down. Here is the uh, the professor of marketing who is involved with this course and who, the organization that it's offered by. Now there there's some social proofs down here. Uh, but the thing I don't like about this is that these social proofs have nothing to do with this course. Um, these social proofs are for Coursera as a whole. And so you'll find that like no matter what you see, you just see a bunch of Coursera is great. Um, but it has nothing to do with, you know, uh, necessarily this course, but that's okay. Um, you'll see other courses that are related to it, and then what people learned. And then of course, what it does is it goes through the syllabus. And then there's this part right here, which is the the top reviews. Um, from people who have have taken this course. And I think this is the part that is really powerful. Um, it interested me so much that I was able to complete the entire module within two days. Great, great learning experience. So like there's a lot of good things, but I'd also look at like, okay, not just the positive reviews, because the positive re reviews will explain why people took the course in the first place. So you want to take the positive reviews and use that that copy, that marketing copy inside your own your own course description. Then the next it would be the negative reviews. I cannot understand what they're saying. Their their accents are too thick. <laughs> I didn't make it through the first two the two videos of this free trial. Okay, so like the language, you know, is it clear? Is it informative? Um, this course was an eye opener. Okay, great. But what was missing from this course? Um, a few adver advertisements are too good to understand the concept. Ah, so so that's the thing is like. That this is this is a key common thing with with teaching courses is that they all only talk about positive examples. They only say like, oh, this is like a really great example, but you don't learn anything because everything is wonderful in this magical world of like video marketing. Uh, but what about like video marketing campaigns that flopped, that really did terribly? Oh, you know, like that could be an awesome thing to cover. Why don't we go through examples of things where it, it's absolutely terrible and it didn't succeed? That is powerful. And to me, that's what people don't do enough of is they, they need to look more at where it failed, where the course didn't succeed. And that will give them so much uh, better of an understanding of what they can do to improve, um, like, like in terms of their learning, Skip all the stuff that you know. Okay, I gotta have a video. It's gotta have like you know text descriptions, blah blah blah. Okay, that that's easy. But people who still learn that failed. They knew all this stuff, you know, in this course, but they still struggled. Why? Why did they struggle? Well, the exact reason is right there, right? Like you can you can learn from their experience, and that's what you want to do. Like that, that's what they really want to to have the opportunity to do is just to learn from that experience directly. And so that's one of the reasons why you want to take this course. This course will specifically deal with the common, the let's say the five most common pitfalls of doing online marketing uh, using video. That people, like the five most common mistakes, here's how you can avoid them. Again, people are more likely to pay to get away from the pain than they will to gain from the benefit of whatever video marketing is gonna be providing.
So I think like if you're going to market something like this, I would move away from, oh, okay, like here are the, the strengths. Here's why video marketing is so right for you to more the here's why it didn't work for a bunch of people. And here's how here's the things that you can do to get around that. Because maybe they've already decided that they're doing video marketing. Uh, the question is whether or not you're the right fit for them. And if you start explaining like, well, other people took the course and it still ran into all these mistakes, you're just dealing with those mistakes. Whoa, awesome. <laughs> so I uh, hope that's making sense. Like it, it really covers uh, what you can what you can do here. And there's a lot of uh, potential in this space. Okay, cool. Now, um, the next one is... Uh, I don't know, this is this is really the last one. And what I want to do is I want to like just explain to you a, a little bit of what I've been doing so far. And if you don't mind, I'm going to run through uh, my course a little bit. Uh, and the way I'm going to do this is I think, hmm, what's the best way? Can I share this screen? Yeah, okay. So maybe I'll show you my course and I'll show you what that, that looks like just to give you like a brief preview, because I, I want to make sure that this is uh, fully sinking in here. And I, I want it to be practical. Uh, I don't want to, <laughs> there's no point in just like, having a, a, a discussion around the course and what can be done. So, okay, so here is the, the video funnels course, right? So video funnel secrets, I have the video and now I'm logged in. So I've, I've actually paid for the course. And I'm logged in and getting it so that it connects with the shop. That's what uh, learn dash and uh, the like the WooCommerce and the WordPress does. And so that was really powerful. But there's this is not the only way like there you could do um, Kajabi, for example, I think it does that the same thing, or you could put your course onto any type of learning management system. Um, and in here, uh, what I found that has been very interesting is that uh, it takes your course and here are the different uh, pieces of the curriculum. So if I click on the first one, um, it'll just load up the video and it says, Okay, this is the face to face video. And so you can play this, you can even uh, play this on a mobile device, it, it doesn't really matter, it loads up the video. Uh, and then there's like a little bit that you, where you can learn more. And then you can just mark the once you've completed this brief video, you can move on to the next one, and move on to the next one and the next one. And so once you've done that, and of course, if you want, you don't actually have to do the entire course, you can actually skip direct to ah, forget it, I'm just going to go and collect my certificate, right? I'm going to go straight to the test. And this is what I love. So once you've got that, here's your little your little badge that I was referring to earlier, right? The video funnels badge. Great. Now you can also start the the quiz. And so I asked like, okay, which of the following is not? And so I, I'm using the no, like the negative. And I'm going to choose it's not a way to get your live videos to be more like a face to face conversation. Um, is it using multiple mobile devices, a software beauty filter, a web camera or adding more light? So the answer here is one do you think is the answer <laughs> um, is a software beauty filter. And the reason for that is it's going to create lag on your video, it's going to actually make it seem less like a real person. So none of this actually helps you make it look more like a face to face because you can't apply beauty filters in real life. And so next, um, the next is which is the following this is not a reason to engage live. Uh, is it to put your audience on the spot? No. <laughs> right? So this is not and I like the, I like the negative ones. And so this is just a quick example um, course that I created, it, it'll say like, okay, your quiz is complete, it's all done through learn dash, and it goes great, you've got like the score uh, is good enough. And if it wasn't, then it would say like, restart the quiz. And then it gives you the option to print your certificate. So you push a button, um, and it will give you a PDF certificate. Now this is, uh, you could do this using um, Autocrat. I think that's one way of doing it. I, I'm using learn dash because it, it's all integrated. And this user's name, by the way, I called Ed3, T T S E three, um, just as a as a test. But it gives you a sense of like, oh yeah, there's like a full on certificate that comes with it. And so I found that that's one way that that helps draw their attention. And then another one that I found um, helpful is uh, in the course and in the shop. Uh, I try to make it so that you can actually see the course, so you get like a visual of what all the different modules are. So attention video, sixty seconds. So you can see like you're getting quite a bit of a package with this. And I think the visual is as important as the the course itself. Like yes, you need the explanation, but you also need that that course. And so um, I like it's in the shop and it's also in the courses page as well. So both of them are are there. And I, I want to like, keep in mind that I'm, I'm not completely done yet with this course. Um, 
but I'm I'm using this to to motivate like why people would want to take the course and I'm trying to create basically a sales page around this and I think once I figure out the formula of what this looks like that's that's what I'm trying to get at here is like that's the goal here that is, is you want to motivate them um, and so if you want to take a look at this live, you just go to AIparenting.live. Uh, Actually, I think I have that in my last slide. Yeah. So if you want to see all of this uh, live, you just go to AIparenting.live. Uh, or you can just follow me on uh, Twitter at AIparenting. Uh, and from there, you can, you can see this course kind of live in action. And maybe if you sign up for the, um, yeah, if you sign up for the, the email list, what I'll do is uh, maybe later today, I, I can set up discount codes. So I'll set up a discount code for you. And then you can go and uh, check out the course and you can give me some feedback as to what you think about the course. Because uh, I'm always looking to improve it. So as in kind of an early, like for early access, I'll give you like early access to it. Because um, I want to learn with you guys. And again, I'm not saying that my course is like all, it's, it's all figured out. I'm just saying, um, once we figure out a good formula for this, then you've got a way to go from video to attention and leads to an actual product that you would sell them. And then you can go out finally, and this is um, kind of near the, the, the next step that I want to cover, uh, attracting a cold audience using paid advertisements. Because at that point, you are already hopefully making some revenue from your existing funnel. And once you have that, then it's fairly easy to justify, okay, yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit more money so that I can uh, tr attract a larger audience. And that's kind of my goal is like, I want you to be able to make money from from these courses, not just go and make a bunch of videos. Like what's the point of making a bunch of videos and then nobody ever watches your stuff. <laughs> and you know, and you never you never make any revenue. Like you're, you're here not to just make a to become an influencer. Uh, I'm hoping you're, you're here also to like to see how this this can actually turn into regular revenue for you.